Dear volunteers, dear subscribers of the Peace and Love organization, please share with your government leader this video and all the others that are part of this set. They are more than 20 videos, all of them published now, you know, posted at our YouTube account now in May 2023. So please share this video with them, because then they already will know that there are other videos to be looking for it. All right. Dear government leaders of all countries, good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're doing really great, you and your family, okay? And every, everyone else that work with you and your friends, your neighbors, everyone, okay? So, this video is made for you. If you're a city mayor, county mayor, state governor, or the president of your country, welcome to the Peace and Love Organization. So, this video and all our videos, we have more than 500 videos posted at this channel called Peace and Love Organization. You will find videos for every area on how we will renew our humanity, in starting with families united and positive practices, and how we will renew our entire planet with good planning that we already have been posting along the years at this YouTube channel and also with good practices working united. So we will share what we have as people, ourselves, right? Good qualities and opportunities we already have. And everyone else in the entire planet gonna do exactly the same. We're going to work united, we're going to share things we have, and this work is going to be really beautiful and really special for all countries. So, thank you so much. Please listen the entire uh, guidance for you specifically, and also please forward this email to everyone else that work with you, your secretaries, the department directors you have, and other helpers, even the janitors, if you still have some uh, people that drop off, pick up things, you know, any worker of any type, if you still have landscape, if you still have, uh, still purchase food for your workers, whichever is your reality according to your country, so please share with them and ask them to share with the people they work to, all right? of all states, so if you're the president, that's even better, you already share with all governors, okay, even that they are part of other partidary, political partidary site, you know, uh, that's okay, please share with all of them, and if you're governor, of course, please already share with all the county mayors, okay, and if you have time, already share with city mayors, so because we need this to get going. And of course, this is mandatory. Up to 24 hours, you share this with family, friends, co-workers, as I just said here, for the government leaders, co-workers, and also the neighbors that you already have, okay? All right, their emails, you have to 24 hours to share with those that you already have their email. All right, after those that you already have their emails that you need to share in up to 24 hours, you have 48 hours to share with all your co-workers, you know, um, with your parents and parents-in-law. Okay, if they live separate or not, or close by or not, so you have 48 hours for them as well, okay? And then you have 48 hours for all your co-workers, even the landscape people, or people that offer food to you, or people that are the janitors, or secretaries, or directors, anybody, all your co-workers of the same building, 
because you ask people to help you and for sure you're gonna have the emails with everyone all right and at least at least 10 neighbors and 10 friends because everyone needs to have neighbors and friends on this planet, right? These things are very important. If you don't have, you ask them, okay? Ten neighbors and ten friends. For our program to be sustainable, you know, and keep growing, people going to share and learn and going to be really beautiful. We really appreciate your participation. Okay. Let's talk about the basics and on this video you will understand why and how this work gonna be for us to have a better humanity and a better planet. So let's get going and here we have the information for you. Get a piece of paper or a notebook and start already start making some notes of these things I just said. All right, okay. So I quickly repeat, you have 24 hours to share with everyone, you already have their emails, and here it's addition here, and all your social media places. So your YouTube, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and everything else. So that's 24 hours with those that you already have their contact, okay? Then you have 48 hours with all co-workers, with your parents and your parents-in-law, um, with all government leaders that it's under or above you, okay, of your country, your own country, okay, and you have 10 neighbors, at least 10 neighbors, and at least 10 friends, okay, emails, on this case, it's not social media anymore, it's proper emails, for this 28 hours, the list I just gave you, it's for emails, all right, here we are, and the basic information for you to understand why we're doing this, and what's your main, our main principles and how things going to get done. We really appreciate your enthusiasm and let's get going. All right, here it is. Before you start, get a notebook and start making a few notes for you to have records of that. All right, not a little piece of paper, a flashcard. No, get the proper notebooks because you're going to have more things to add to this notebook on the following days, okay? The other requirement that from today on, every day you have to sit one hour to share things with everyone else, okay? So one hour to share and one hour to learn about these new videos, mostly those posted on January 2022, and also those posted now, like this one, the set of more than 20 videos, in May 2023. So, one hour to study those videos, those basic videos with an overview of everything, and one hour to share with everyone. In a few words, you're going to share... In May, I have this video posted. Every Monday, you have a group. Every Tuesday, you have a group. Every Wednesday, you have a group. This way, your entire CD, and like everyone else, going to do exactly the same. We have days to share with these proper people, you know, for them to learn as soon as possible about organization launching day. In a few words, this email you're going to send to everybody every day for one hour from Monday to Friday will be what? Will be 10 sentences with 10 links related to them, of course. You're going to save that draft and you can improve the draft along the, the weeks, the days, okay? And this email, you just have four or five sentences about yourself. You're going to say who you are. I'm the government, I'm the president, I'm the mayor. Uh, the, the city mayor, right, or the county mayor, okay, 
You're gonna say that what you are, or I'm the I work at the mayor's office, or I'm the janitor at the mayor's office. So you don't have to say, you know, you say I work there. You don't have to say your mayor, the cook, or the landscape person, or the, the people drop off food. Okay? Alright, so the top of this email you're gonna write four or five sentences about yourself and we that you are agreeing you have to put that sentence that that you agree with the peace and love international organization work and principles for all countries to be exactly the same so this long sentence you have to add it to your email right and the other thing at the end you're going to make a proper closing right so how are you going to do it you're going to write your name your position address, complete address, including your country, city, country, zip code. And if you are one of the smallest hundred countries, you're going to write the continent you are, because we have located at. Because we have too many countries that are too tiny, they're islands, just to be easier for people to see, okay? And know where you're located. The other thing you have to do, you know the, the end, the bottom of your email, so you're going to have the CD, right, and some logos. You already have to take, you can keep the logo here. You can keep the logo and you're going to write your name and all these things. And you're already going to give a, a day of closing, a day of closing of your entire office and everyone uh, below you, everyone that you are in charge of, okay, that work at that, because we have to start working for the peace and love organization with 10 couples in charge of everything, okay? So you're going to keep checking those videos in May, so you're going to know how you're going to do it. Uh, first, you lay them off, those that you don't need, those that, you know, you first you lay them off, make a plan, and uh, those that you really need, you keep for a few more days because they're going to help to close all these locations you have to close that are going to be talking soon here at this same video. So you have to close the assisting living, the nursing homes, the clinics, you know, the hospitals, the hospice the juvenile, the jail, everyone have a proper, except for the jail. The jail, it you have six months, but the organization going to take over and the director, the people that work there are going to be 10 department directors in charge of the jail. Everything else you're going to entirely close down. Bars, People that sell nicotine, tobacco, marijuana, drugs, pharmaceutical drugs. So you're going to have bad explanation here in this video. But in a few words, you keep a few workers to help you to close down everything and to get ready with these 10 department directors for the jail only. That's the only place going to stay open. Everything else, people need to live with their own family. Elders in nursing home or hospice, whichever it is, they have to move right away and live to, with their own families. And you may ask, how many people you can keep? Up to 20. Up to 20 married couples. Married couples. So if you already have one, you know, who is married and have children and have two children at home, two or more, right? Two or more children at home, at least five years old. Those, if they are in proper school, not homeschooling, if they are 10, those at the people, up to. So you're going to have 10 people helping, 10 couples helping, or 20 couples helping, all right? Because we are not going to have these young teens, young adults working and they don't have commitment with life, they do anything they want, they don't even eat at home. No, you're going to keep only 10 or 20 married couples. 
So if you are a government um, governor, a state governor, or if you are president with all these cars and all these airplanes and all these people cooking for you, you're going to lay them all of them out. You're going to be in charge of your own food as everyone else in the entire planet, okay? You go to a supermarket, you go to another supermarket, you can even get one of those couples to help you purchase food. But we are in the same situation. Every family in all comes in the same situation. We have to get food where the food is and plant our own gardens. We're going to stop this extra for these, you know, hundred, a thousand security people for these security people then and then you add up they are 800 they are 400 it's too much we don't need those things right so keep only what you really need all right that's the most basic okay so how long now let's talk about a few words of how long you have to resign so you're going to resign as soon as you close down all these places i just told you about and you're going to only keep the um, jail open. The jail will also be open with 10 department, uh, 10 couples, married couples with children, at least 8 years old and above. They're going to be there, you know, and you're going to start this process for them to get all the documentation they need and everything. We're gonna start the process. They're gonna finish the process. So let's say the jail will, will um, you get 20 married couples. So you have 20 for your own office to keep going and help you to close everything I just said. And you have also 20 married couples for the jail to start this process of registering people with all the documentation they need to become 10 one day. They might be part of it or they might hire other people from the community. People that work more than one year, they need to renew. They need other people at jails as well. But that's another video that's already posted, okay? If there are more than one year, you know, even that they get all the documentation as they cannot stay as one of those 10 department directors for jail. They need to get another job and people that are in charge, you're going to leave, right? 20 married couples, they need to be hired new. You're going to hire new, Okay, that will have all the documentations, everyone else in the entire planet. You know, with good positive practice, they were polite, respectful, they have a school, they have uh, children at school at their proper age, their, the grades of their children and teens are great, you know, and everything else we ask. Okay, great. So, and all these places that you're in charge, including the private places, not only the public assisting living the public hospitals no but the private as well all of them have two days to clean up two more days to do paperwork you know unless they're huge companies then it's okay you can give two more days right instead of two will be four for paperwork such as taxes everything else okay all right you have to close down you have to close them down entirely all right, all these places, even most of the gas station, you're going to leave four gas stations per county. You already make the laws, and already, if you're the president, you make the laws for the entire um, uh, country, your country. If you are a governor, you already tell these laws for your entire state. Okay, because we have to keep going. So we will be only four food vans in the city. Only four food vans. Everyone else gonna close down. You already do the you already making to law that nobody gonna have family cars and everything else. All right. Okay, let's get organized, let's get ready. We we'll see you soon. Okay, so this video is for present government leaders. 
New mayors, city mayors, county mayors, governors, and presidents. All right. So th what's the objective? Is to explain how going to be the transition from what people are doing right now, countries are doing right now, and what going to be for the Peace and Love International Organization. So you're going to send this video to them. You know, so please already cancel, make it a law, cancel all ambulances. That's the first thing, you know, put in, in the information news, tell at schools, tell everyone you can, you know, use radio, use anything you have. Put signs at uh, main restaurants and tell the students for a whole week, every single day. So, all ambulances are canceled, all fire trucks are canceled, you know, Uber, Lift any type of cab, they're canceled. Any type of luxury items, limos for rental, very expensive restaurants, very expensive hotels, all these things are canceled and closed down until they make the changes that are needed. No limos at all. People need to get urban buses to go anywhere, even to go to airports. Place more urban buses in more hours, more streets if that is needed. And for the last item is cancel all family cars, forbidden. You know, give, give 48 hours for everyone. There have plenty of time, you know, or establish, a, yeah, I think 48 hours is fine. Or establish a day, four days, five days later, or from that first Monday on maximum of a week give notice because we need to start improving our countries we can't have family cars spending gasoline going anywhere they want right we have to be better so let's start being better okay all right so this is very important every email you send keep them all together and you're gonna make videos of them and if you share with others, other states, other mayors, keep your records, count points for you, more school principals, more business owners, count points for you, start doing. So we really appreciate your cooperation as you, the, our subscribers, because we really need to get this going. So if you come, was born in another country and live in another country, okay, so you have access to two different countries or you often you go vacation in another country, contact them. Contact the restaurant owners, you know, if you know their language, go ahead. Every day, please take one hour of your time and share 10 sentences and 10 links. And this one is one of the links, okay? So we already explained why. But in a few words, why we can't have ambulances anymore? Very simple. People don't take care of their health and they go to the hospital. They go to the hospital. They come back home. They still the same. They don't change their practices. They just want miracles to happen. So we have to be better. The other place, assisting living. Give for weeks and close them down. Elders need to live with their family, or the family come over, or the elders go live with them. Right? Makes sense. So, for them, you give a little more time. You know, give them four weeks. Every day, you need to start a program. So, give them one or two weeks, according to reality. We already uh, talked about, we're going to have six months for them to go home and make no sense for all these people to be millions of people in jail, you know, in different countries. It, it, it's not sustainable. They're eating bad food. They, they don't have access even to sunlight, you know. So we have this program. They start planting food in containers or in the ground. They start uh, volunteering close by. They start going home uh, once a week. You know, the days are passing. Everything is good. They start going home twice a week. So it's a process. 
those that do not want to cooperate, all right, so send them to electric chairs because we need a better humanity. We cannot have evil practices in our planet anymore. We need to get better, all right? So very simple. Um, already take out all, set up a day, take out all homes, um, ovens, done. And then a week after that, cancel all fire trucks because it makes no sense for fire trucks and ambulances to go everywhere. It makes no sense. Keep some fire trucks. If you have areas that are too dry, but not for housing anymore, for people to be calling. Oh, I need fire truck. Oh, my child is stuck in a tree. My, my cat is stuck in a tree. You have to stop these things. Okay, all right, we need to get better. So please, government leaders, let's cooperate and make those laws. Put the date and make it happen. All right, so that's because we really need family cars. Also, give them about four days' notice from that Monday on. It's forbidden. And get their cars, you know, put police in the roads and pick up their cars. They have to. To find a way, if they can still sell, they sell, you know, for recycle centers. Or are they going to give them a way to recycle centers? Okay? Also, every government lead of all countries already cancel everything that's related to veterans, you know, or specific organizations. Cancel their names. Everything of all type that is positive will already be Peace and Love International Organization, a sign posted at the front door, okay? Social system, yes, you can still give food, people still need, all right, make a limit. They can have food for four or eight weeks, no more. They can only have food if they start planting food right there to learn, so they can do the, the same thing at their own residential community. The other thing, please, governors and president, already make it mandatory to start the food gardens. Contact all the office of all residential communities, mandatory, that's it. For them to bring trucks, purchase, fix the land they already have, and start planting seeds. We're going to stop this thing like United States. Oh, liability, oh, liability, oh, insurance. And if the food is not good, food is not good, the ones that are sold in supermarkets have much more chemical than any other grass. It's forbidden to make a lawsuit against anyone. going to stop with this. United States is crazy. Free money, lawsuit, lawsuit. Oh, I fell down, the floor was wet. So pay more attention if it's raining. Oh, I fell down the street, um, pedestrian sidewalk was not really level, so pay attention where you walk. Oh, I slip in a coin, I slip in a banana peeling. Please look around, pay attention. People have to get up. We need positive practice, we need God practice in all countries. All right? Very good. So, as soon as you Anybody, if you are leaders, government leaders, if you are um, organization, you know, if, you, if you're part of any organization, already put a sign on the front, you know, a big sign, four print side papers together, so you make a big square, you know. From this day on, we agree with the... Peace and Love International Organization, and we are already making adjustments, all the adjustments each day is possible, or possible adjustments every day. So put the day you start agree with that, the day you put in that post, you know, that sign at your, at your front door, you know. And government leaders, or you as yourself, already put at the door. So, let's do it. Now it's May. You got this information. Let's do it before Mother's Day, before the second Sunday of May. July 
2022. All churches need to close down. They preach too much. They talk things that they don't even know. Christians talking about um, um, songs that is not even related to Jesus, you know. So it's not even... They don't even recycle, they don't even try, they use a lot of disposable, so why have them? They repeat, repeat, repeat the same prayers, they don't even, some of them don't even pray with their own hearts. They follow instructions from people that don't even live there, they don't even know who they are, you know. So we have to make this better. Already close all churches of all types. Already close all spiritual sites of all types. You know, all religious practices of all types. And put at the front door. From this day on, we are ready. Making the best adjustments as possible each day. And, uh, sorry, before that you said, we agree with the Peace and Love International Organization. That's the first thing, okay? And then from this day on, the day you put in the sign at your front door, right? Okay. And already make another side sign. We are closed for two or four days for our two days cleanup. So if you need two days... You do two days. If you need two days clean up of items and two more days to organize your paperwork, accounting, taxes, go ahead and you have those four days. If it's really dirty, disorganized, okay, have a few more days. Close down for one whole week. That's fine, but you have to close, you know, and hurry up because, you know, this building can be used for school, we need, please, subscribers, we need a place for a school piloting program, for our office, for everything. We need a piloting for everything. One residential community, one place for our school, from 0 to 14th grade. We need one uh, classes and space for adult edu education, you know, and um, one thrift store. And we need one social system, one community garden. We need one of each. So every morning we're going to work with somebody. Every afternoon we're going to work with somebody. Hopefully we're going to do this right here in Martin County, Florida. Please help us. And the government, Ron DeSantis, is going to help. And Joe Biden is going to help with their wives. Right? Because we need a piloting program for all countries. As we do, as we improve, all countries will, will also already improve. But we can't have thousands, millions of family cars going all over, doing whichever they want, teenagers doing whichever they want, going to places, oh, I'm free, I'm 18, I do whichever I want. No, we have to stop this. We need to have families united, no more students of any age studying far away. No, stop this. They have to live with their parents. If they're married or not, they're going to move. Or the parents going to move to their city, or they're going to move to the parents or grandparents' city. They have time to talk and decide. Okay, so it's very important. Please help us out. So we are looking for piloting places. So if you can do that, already get the whole thing. As I said, one is school, you know, enough is schools or two, two schools, right? So we can share the age groups or four, you know. So preschool, elementary, middle school, high school, going to have different entrances, so the teachers will be different, they have walls between them, you know, property walls, you know, two meters high. We need this piloting program, start teaching people that do not speak English. So it can be north, east of Brazil or south Florida, here this region, you know, Martin County or St. Lucie County. We need this, please help us out. So if you're willing, already, you know, get the most as possible. As I said, we also need the thrift store, uh, social assistance, 
So people will see how things are done, you know, and everybody attending those places is going to sign a waiver and we're going to film them. Yes, we, we're going to film them. So I feel, you know, and they're going to see how the festivals are made and, and how you're going to start doing things. We need this piloting program. All right. We really appreciate your cooperation and let's get ready. Let's get organized and turn places that will be closed down, negative businesses, churches, into places that we need, schools, all right? So that's really, really important. So thank you so much, and um, make already the laws in your, in your state, in your country, to be um, available as soon as possible and share. You know, and then you're also going to close TV, you know, because TV is the thing that people waste time and also cancel social media. Give them two weeks and cancel all social medias. Only keep YouTube while we need them for those um, family videos and everyone going to make their own videos. But already cancel Facebook. People spend hours. They don't even talk to their children. They don't talk to their parents. They, they, they don't even run. They don't jog. They don't take fresh air. They don't plant food. But they are there on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and others. Okay? So Snapchat, and there goes. You know, WhatsApp. But they don't have time to talk to real people in front of them. Okay, they don't hug their children, they don't hug their teens, they don't talk to their spouses, they don't make love, they don't eat healthy, but they buy pharmaceutical medication. So, my friends, let's do better, okay? Really great, we really appreciate your cooperation and already cancel, close down the pharmacies. Yes, you can do it, you're the mayor, city mayor. County Mayor, please hurry up and do it. So from this Monday, give four days, four or five days. Oh, well, too bad. And every um, clinic, health clinic, every um, um, emergency room, every pharmaceutical uh, store, you know, just have a sign at the door. We are closed from this day on because we agree with the Peace and Love International Organization. Done. No, not done. One more thing. For any health problem, go to this link. And then you're going to put this link of this video right now, this yellow video I'm making here right now. And the other very simple video I post many months ago with the 10 basic items to be healthy. That's just a very few minutes, if they want, and then they get the longer version, you know, with more details that is not even posted yet. But they can have that one, I think it's four or five minutes. That's it. Put this there and close them, and those places have two days to clean up entirely. We're going to stop this thing. Who going to stay? Doctors for simple checkup, vaccines is also canceled, big health departments canceled, close down everything. Who gonna stay are simple clinics, you know, that they have just two or four rooms. That's it, you know, to have pregnant mothers and also for regular health checkup, you know, that every one kilometer. We have one of the best ones on main avenues, done, of the most trusted doctors. That's it. People are going to pay for that visit and done. How much they pay? Here in Marty County, they pay $25 instead of $150 for a regular checkup. It's $150, $200 for one doctor visit. It's unbelievable. And for people that have insurance, they never have opening for new patients. Never have open. Now they're going to have because it's forbidden for them to have to go for uh, mammograms, for them to go for lung checkup, for them to go for surgery, for them to go if their cancer got better or worse or they spread more in their body or not because a lot is liars liars i'm telling you i've been studying this for many years 
liars. People have acidic bodies, they're going to have more problems, more health problems. People have more alkaline bodies, they eat more salads, more real fruits, real vegetables, raw salads. Of course, they're going to be more healthy. They eat uh, uh, lentils, they eat beans. Instead of processed meat, you don't even know what's inside, okay? All right, so please, you church, you business owners, you non-profit organization, you profit organization, you government leaders, you everybody, school principals, school owners, residential community owners, already put these signs at your front door, okay? And already paint your main entrance, you know, the name of your establishment, whichever it is, keep it there, but you write before or after. With the signs you already have, write it big. We agree with the, or just put, peace and love organization, and then before or after your name you already have. If, if that is in Chinese, Japanese, or any other type of language, already change, already put in English. Okay, already write that in English. Construction materials, close down. We don't need to build anything for two or four years because all the new construction is going to be the most positive and sustainable and not just for people. Oh, I want this different. Oh, let's knock down, knock down this and this and that and that and build just because people have money. No, we need to have consideration with landfills. All right? Already cancel. Give two weeks notice and already cancel pick up inside anyone's property the trucks trash trucks gonna pass only at main roads okay so please government leaders let's do it university students please let's do it and already close down everyone that sells tobacco nicotine marijuana pharmaceutical drugs already said and alcoholic drinks please and bakeries, what we need bakeries for, people are very sick. They are very sick, acidic bodies does not survive. They have pain, they keep eating sugar, they have pain, or they're sick, they still keep eating gluten, or because they don't have, or because it's cheaper, just stop and they're gonna figure out with the gardens that are gonna be mandatory to plant food gardens. In four weeks, they have salad greens at their own community gardens and also their own schools. Stop fast food for schools, stop fast food for assisting living, for hospice, for jail. Stop. They're gonna figure out. It's mandatory to plant, so, you know, go buy seeds and plant, okay? And also regular mail delivery. Every community going to have once a week delivery for, from the farm, you know, delivery for food, perishable food, once a week. They're going to contact food distribution center and have every Monday or every Tuesday or every Wednesday, from Monday to Friday only in vans, all right? Okay, that is the only way we're going to have a better planet. Cancel what's not good and get be better. All furnitures, cancel, don't produce anymore. Sell what you have, give what you have and done. All right, close down, empty out, give to people in need. If you have good materials, good food, or give any, anything that's good, give to people. Call the offices of residential communities, already give them rice, beans, lentils, right? Uh, corn, okay? We really appreciate United, we can do it, my friends. United, let's do it, okay? And this is not for me to become rich or my family or for you and your family. No, this is for 8 billion people on this planet that we need to get better. We need to be better. We need to get refugees taken out of those places. And who we're waiting for? It's ourselves. 
If you have apartments available, if you have a house, a second house, a vacation house, please take one more family out from slums. Take one more family out of refugees. Refugees have priority. Take them out from where they are. Give them citizen. Apply citizen for them according to your country law. You know, make those things happen. We have millions of people waiting refugees camp and adoption houses. Adopt them, every family. You know, give a time. Make it more simple and they're going to adopt to people that live there up to 10 kilometers away. You know, so four weeks, they're closed down. They're closed down, no more orphanages for anybody new. Oh, well, father and mother died in what? Probably in an accident, right? Or in a civil war, or uh, whichever it is. If both died, okay, every child have a grandmother or grandfather or mother-in-law or father-in-law, right? The other side, the other grandmother, the other grandfather or a uncle or an aunt, Done. No more new um, uh, children or teen in orphanages. No more. Or foster home, even worse. We have to teach the parents. So, you know, not simple like that. Oh, bye-bye, bye-bye, orphanage. And those that are there right now, you know, everyone have a family. Yes, they do. They're only going to be adopted if they really were sexually abused. Done. Other than that, they go to their own family. Contact them. Call them. Call them to come. Do an explanation. They have four days to pick them up. Done. And then you see how many there are left. Okay, those deserve to go to another family that is close by, up to 10 kilometers away maximum up to 20 kilometers away done very simple we need mayors city mayors we need the county mayors we need governors we need president that really want to make changes senators commissioners because some people they just go walk this way walk that way walk this way walk that way and don't do things so please do it things. If you are mayor, city mayor, go, you do everything. You cancel everything. Make it to law. All right. You know, wait for the day to come. So that will be what? This first Monday, coming up Monday. You know, um, the, the, the 8th, right? The 8th. May the 8th. All right. May the 8th. So May the 10th. You resign. You're already turning to law, and then you're going to say what? You're going to, before you resign, you're going to say, you know, Goiana, from this day on, Goiana Ferreira going to guide everything we're going to do at your, our city, our county, or our store, or our school, or our residential community, or our thrift store, or our organization. Just put there, Goiana Ferreira's name. That's it, because I'm really working with this for years. And some presidents, or even United Nations, how much they have been done in decades. And they have all these things that people arrive when, when people leave, and security here, security there. How much they have been done, you know? And people still crossing, go to another country and make agreements and go to another continent and make more agreements and sign more papers and have more things in the name of the environment and have more things done in the name of their communities. And nothing's done. So let's do this. And then you resign. Okay? Of course, you have to lay out everyone. Lay off, I mean. All your employees under yourself. You lay them off, put the signs. Okay, so establish a day. When you're looking for this, is the May 8th. May 8th is the May 9th. May 9th, one or two days later, in a positive day, such as the 10th or the 14th, then you resign. You already lay off, you already pay everything in a good, uh, kind way, right? 
the best as possible. If you have money, help those workers that don't have money. All right? Purchase them an apartment, you know, there or closer to the beach. Because families with younger children need to move closer to the beach as soon as possible. And for those that already live close to the beach, to receive many new families, preschool families, all right? Okay, then you already cancel this airport thing every day, all day, 24 hours a day, no more. You're going to receive airplanes during the day. You know, they can only arrive 7 a.m. in the morning until what? 7 p.m. in the evening, if you have buses for these people to go home. And then, you know, for six months, that's where going to be, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., no more. People that leave workers and uh, captains, right, um, that live close by, and they walk home. If it's a few blocks away or they sleep at the airport hotel, and then next day they get the first available urban buses. Families the same way. If they already don't have urban buses to go home, they sleep at the hotel by the airport. We're going to stop this. And people fly, and people fly just because they have money, money, money. And what? YouTube subscribers for negative things, they have millions of subscribers, millions of dollars. We're going to stop that. That's not right. That's not right. Cancel them all. Talk to YouTube. You know, in your country, no more. Which videos are going to have? Only the peace and love organization videos. We're going to stop these people putting liars online and they have millions of subscribers and they have millions of dollars because you to pay them advertisements, right? Wrong. Please, let's start a new humanity, you know, and cancel. Cancel. You have the power in your hand, cancel. All these companies charging phones service so expensive even third world countries so expensive make no sense people can have internet phones that's what we're gonna have you know you the mayor the, the government the president you the, the whichever is in, in you're capable of doing make your best and not your worst don't make one more day just pass by, make it valid, make a change for this planet. Please make a change for this planet. It's in your hands. If you're a mayor, any government leader, make the changes you can do. Already lay off everybody under your care. You know, because we are going to have people. What you're going to need? You just need people for the water, for the electricity, the internet for free, everyone for free. So we have what? We have internet service, we have electricity service, we have rental service, I mean houses or apartments, right? Some places still have gas. Everything is free. Gas for cooking, I mean. Everything is free. And for gas, you already put the limit. No more. Already pick up the stoves, already schedule from this side of this avenue and that side of that avenue. I've already scheduled a pickup. Who are going to have stoves for cooking? Restaurants and clubhouses of residential communities. No more. No more gas, you know, for heating houses, for this, for that. Electric, electronics all over, all right? So, public library, okay, public library stays on, that's yes. But for internet, electricity, phone, cell phone, free internet phones, okay? The rest you cancel, you know? Airport hours, already explained, airport hours, train station hours, okay? No more travel, 
No more travel buses. No more. They're not safe. People travel the whole night to visit parents. People travel the whole night. They don't even know they're going. Cancel. Close them down. Airplanes. Yes, airplanes. They have money or not. I already post a video. They arrive there. They purchase. If they don't have money, they go. Where are you going? I'm going to live with my parents. I'm going to live with my married grandchildren. And go. The first available airplane towards that country, towards that state, towards that city, the couples with money, the couples without money, they go on that first airplane. And airplanes are forbidden to sell every single seat. They need to leave um, 10 seats. Let's establish for 10 available in case someone, nobody needs that free ticket. Okay, so offer for following people that already should be there. You know? Towards that area, towards that state. Okay? You know? So, and then the next morning, the next day, your hotels, you know, for those people in transit, free hotels, right? Free hotels, no more. Uh, hotels for vacation. Hotels already paid for something. All right, they, they, they can come. But as, as soon as people, we already know, they will cancel their reservations. Hotels contact their guests. From now on, we are what? We are going to be receiving families. We are not a hotel for vacation. Maybe you can keep maybe 10 rooms, 20 rooms, you know, and everything else. For families that want to move out from houses and they need to go to buildings with many apartments or hotels to be sustainable. So many People need to move. So, let's do it. Right? Okay, my friends. Let's please make this happen. It's a gift to be um, working with this for a few years now. We need people that really are willing to have a bad humanity. So, let's start. Okay? All right. And then, we're going to explain how we are going to have the city offices now at every city. Okay? How? You know, start already. Because regular, regular government offices going to close down now. In May 2023, we need them to close down entirely. So they establish mayors, governors, presidents, and everyone else. They establish a reasonable day for closing this, reasonable day for closing that. Okay, they lay off everybody, even from um, orphanages, right, from foster homes. People, even people, walk one way, walk that. They do nothing. They're on their own cell phones doing nothing. They dig again a road. They put more wires on the street. Everything that's not needed. Okay, so you put reasonable days for this, reasonable day for that. And then you lay off everyone. You know, the next day you lay off everybody else that's still there helping you for the final work. All right, and then on this day here, it's an even number day in May, you resign with a letter. From today on, everything we will follow, Goiana, Ferreiras, YouTube channel as the leader of our counties, the leader of our cities, the leader of our state. Is the leader of our country. Why? Because that's, I, I haven't seen anybody like us doing this work. So we have to do it. So people will have one channel on YouTube. And from June 1st on, everyone going to start the new family channels. All right? They're going to start making their videos. But... Let's start that. So let's delete everything now in May. 
because it's too many. Let's keep only the peace and love organization YouTube channel. So one or two weeks, you close everything else in old channels, also on YouTube, because it's, it's millions of uh, videos posted, billions, right? And most of them help nobody. You know, it's just um, liars, and people go and look, and people go and give comments, people go and give thumbs up, all right? So let's please do that. We really appreciate your cooperation. Let's get organized. And on June 1st on, every family can start putting their videos, their family videos online. So they can already start making the videos, but uh, they will share this way. Shall we do that? Okay. Very good. We really appreciate your attention. Let's do it. Make it happen. All right. Thank you so much. And for money and points, I didn't say, but let's say so for points. So from August 1st until August 1st, until end of July. Okay, you can use money or points. I think that's really reason from August 1st and on only peace points. And hopefully we are already going to have our peace app. If you don't have a peace app, you write it down, your family, your business uh, records book. And then you, as soon as we have the app, you're going to put the peace points. Let's do August 1st. No more banks as well. On August 1st, all the accounts everywhere in all countries are going to be zero down. Okay? All right? Because we have... The gift in our hands of sharing. We're going to share everything we have. You have food to share, have seeds to share, you have blankets, linens, clothes, shoes. What do you have to share? Time. You are communicative. Everybody have a gift. So let's do it. All right? Okay. Thank you so much. And we see you soon. We really appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. Here we have a few more things, you know, that government leaders from all countries need to do please us to have better better communities and better countries for us to be more united and with better more positive and sustainable practice for everyone so please listen the second part and as soon as possible we will have a proper letter so you can also send for the email to all government leaders but here's the basic information, so here it is, a few more requests for you, government leaders. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Let's work united for a bad humanity. All right, so dear city mayors, county mayors, state governors, and presidents, so please, I read everything that I'm saying. It's for the benefit of our humanity, right? As you see on the other video, all our videos like that. We have more than 400 videos. So please already turn everything possible into law before you resign, okay? And here I'm going to tell you what else you can include in this law. So you will already make into a new law all that, you know, you listen here. And then you're going to give people four days or a week, two weeks, and done. You establish a day, and then it's done. So our day for all countries, the very due date is by the end of July, for us to be organized and ready for a new life, okay? Very good. Thank you. So every community, residential community, can only have four dogs by the end of July. Why four? They choose the best one, small, not too small, medium ones, you know, the best they can have that really know how to listen to their owners, just for them to help checking, you know, in the evening and night, for example, if raccoons come to the, close to the food gardens, or, you know, basically it's that. It's not for dogs to be inside the house, sleeping all the time, they can sleep outside. So the whole community get together, they already know how to do that. They're going to vote for the best 
for dogs that can stay outside at night and help in case they listen something, but also they're friendly with their neighbors. The other thing is no disability for anyone. You know, people that are blind, go and get an, a surgery. People that need a surgery on their legs or something, even that they use a wheelchair. So they will do the best they can and get out of that situation and don't make an effort to stay on that situation to get money, you know, those things. So you already send a letter to everyone who send money, to monthly money, say that's the last paycheck and everyone will be treated the same. Families can help each other. Some people have problems on legs. They have great minds. They can work in other locations, right? Okay. Obese people, they're going to work out. They are not, they are not disabled also, right? So they're going to work out and sweat and get healthy and eat properly and going to be cured, going to be up to date, you know, on weight. So people that are on wheelchair, they're going to use crutches and then canes, and then they are going to use nothing. So please give authorization for surgery only for those surgeries that are really important, like these cases, I'm just saying here, and only until the end of July for any reason. And all surgeries, let's do free. Doctors are already rich, you know, and already turn into law as well that at your country, it will be mandatory to be an organ donor for everyone that dies. Simple. Then everyone gets the surgery they need, and then we stop with these things of surgery, because most surgeries are not even needed. No cessation, nothing of those surgeries people talk about and talk, you know. 99% uh, are fake. You know, doctors want their patients to be really sick. They don't guide them properly to get out of the situation, eat healthy and work out and sweat and, and jog, you know, so they can have those surgeries. So it will be forbidden. The other thing, please already give notice to all patients and close down all regular clinics and all hospitals, please. Because people, they think that doctors going to be miracles and cure them. They think a surgeon going to cure them. A few months later, all the problems come back again. In their liver, their, their kidney, whichever the problem was, come back. Even after surgery, heart surgery, they're all not good. We have to, we need better lifestyles, healthy lifestyles that we already talked about. So please close down which clinics you're going to leave open. For birth and only natural birth, you know, we already have videos posted how parents can, can make this happen. They need to eat healthy, they have to walk, they, they, they have to take sun, they have to sweat, they have to be outside every day, they have to, to, to do many different things, right? And that baby for sure going to born healthy. So please, already get in your whole, every county, only two clinics, two or four, if you have a very, a very large county, it's okay, four clinics for birth, and then you already choose two or four clinics for surgery or hospital, you know, those that the, I just said, the problems, and end of July, no more, August 1st is closed down. Only the birth, surgery for birth, those four per county will stay on for birth. People that are really pregnant. Everybody else will have at the front of their building, the clinic building, the link. It's about four videos, four minutes the video I have posted. How to cure, you know, and prevent all health problems. You know, basic things, that is the things I already told you. Uh, the video is about four minutes with the basics and all the details are in other videos. Thank you so much. The other thing, if, if you still pay any provider, any teacher for ADD, ADHD, uh, mental problems, or any type, please cancel everything. Families and teachers going to work with these people with other siblings, the parents, and at schools with others. 
you know, because then they will get out of the situation. There's no extra teachers for them, no extra providers, no people changing diapers. You know, if they're really too bad, we're going to do prayers and they just born again. You know, that's no, make no sense for people to be 8, 10 years old, 12 years old, you know, and then 18, 20, 40, and people changing diapers for them, right? The best is to really pray for them to born again, and they go, they go to the nearest country or state that have electric chair. If that person does not die with natural prayers, you know, because we can do this, and they born again. You know, instead of have these people suffering years after years after years, people that have really major problems that surgery cannot fix them and prayers and all these practices that we're talking about does not cure them. That's the only solution. We have to be realistic. Instead of those people suffering, suffering, suffering all their life sometimes, right? They If they don't, if they can't, you know control the most basic of their own body or have the, the most basic mental health, we cannot keep them. You know, let them free. Let's talk to them because some have good minds. They just have other major problems, you know, down their legs or down their waist, right? Okay, so we're going to talk to them and then the family going to do prayers. And soon after they can born, they can even see someone from their friends, you know, uh, family friends they have, you know, special uh, neighbors they have, see who is pregnant and who can receive that spirit. In the same day, while one baby is born, the other one already died, passed away and born on that baby. We have to believe that. That's so easy. We can do it. Instead of having these people suffering all their lives with, you know, mental, physical problem. Okay? All right, so for emotional problems, we are going to cure everyone, parents and teachers and themselves. Just follow the basic information. Instead of staying with the problem, the person going to be willing and they have to heal. Find a way to heal and move on. We're all adults and we move on. And children, teens, elders, everyone... We are adaptable, we can change things, so we can renew and be in a better situation for those that lost someone they love, you know. It, the, the person already passed away doesn't help to be there anymore. We have to move on. Some other communities in other countries, they suffer much, much more. They see their babies dying, you know. They, they have contaminated water, they don't have food to give to their own children, their toddlers, their babies, right? They, they don't have food for themselves. They don't have water for themselves. So people that die or they have this problem, that problem, we have to move on, be realistic, and renew and, and focus on our festivals, beautiful moments we're going to have together, you know, and our peace and love white flag movement, and dance and sing and already get up happy, spend happy, positive days, plant our own food and everything else we have been talking. Thank you. Okay, so let's say a few words about Job. So if you're in the center of the continent, please already have those work locations that will hire anyone that's interested for demolition sites, right? So that's a good idea because we are going, we already decided we are going to live by the beach, 200 kilometers from the beach line. So please already do that, you know, and already cancel any new construction. Talk nicely, send notice and get it done, please. You know, all these sites that hire builders and also the builders themselves, you know, so they, they know what's going on, that it is a work for all countries to work united, that is the best for everyone, so they can work again afterwards, if they have proper engineers and electrician, plumbers, everything, right, builders themselves, okay, afterwards, 
After two years, about two years from the organization launching day, they will be able to apply as soon as they have all the paperwork, everything organized. Then they are going to be able to start again building these very strong buildings very strong very sturdy that will last forever instead of having things that uh, start to get leak and then start to get this and then people remodel remodel again because that's not sustainable all right okay so after the organization launching day will be about two years for us to start this construction only at the beach line close much going to be much closer we believe that maybe about 50 kilometers from the beach line, the permanent buildings. So they can apply again afterwards. And they already give, you know, a two weeks or, you know, two weeks uh, notice to their workers, right? And they make agreements between them the best as possible, have meetings, and they can look up for other videos, okay? And you, as a government leader, can also do 10 videos with 10 links. And we have there for property owners what to do, for schools what to do. We have everything for families what to do, okay? All right. So for a family that really does not have money, so they have... A, and they can apply for food assistance. Okay, they have one week notice for the entire family to come and help two times a week. You know, the entire family, such as a Saturday and a Sunday, you know, and something like that. Or the entire Saturday, you know, the whole day, eight hours, with, with some breaks, you know, lunch break and morning break, afternoon break. Why is that? Because children, teens, adults, elders, we need to work outside to be healthy, to start planting food, and to have, uh, uh, to practice so they can go back to their neighborhood and talk to the, the people in charge, their the, the um, landlords and start implementing this food garden at their own residential community that we already have many videos posted how they can do that but that's very important two times a week or eight hours on Saturday such as people that have children teens at school it's okay they can come the whole Saturday for eight hours Okay, and on Saturday, they need to start 7 a.m. for everyone, 7 a.m., okay? And when they do the application, all these places that have food, you know, can give to them up to two months, eight weeks, up to eight weeks. So how that is going to work? They come and learn every Saturday, every Saturday, and they get the food they need. To help them, that's okay, because some people are going to lose their jobs until they find a new one, that's all right. But they have to prove that for the last year, they didn't do, you know, spend money with nail polish or money with dog trimming, you know, those things that are not needed. And some people, instead of saving a little bit, they spend money with not needed things. So they were not drinking, not smoking, not using marijuana, not using all those things. Let's say for, for the last four weeks, shall we do that? For the last four weeks, because the main thing, it's for, for people to work united. But it's okay, they can already start coming for this Saturday. And then as soon as they start receiving their food, that food can be for eight weeks. You know, so they have to wait four weeks without those things, negative things for them, right? Because some people spend too much money in things that are really not needed. And then they go ask for money. Oh, pay my electricity, pay my water, pay my cable, pay my rent. So that's not right. So they wait four weeks. That quickly passed. I'm sure they're going to be okay for four weeks. And as soon that four weeks is due for everything, you know, they don't smoke, they don't drink, don't use marijuana, no pharmaceutical drugs, kids are at school, not homeschooling, 
and also not at home schools, you know, for this, um, uh, for preschool kids. So none of that. They go to regular schools, commercial school, not home daycares. Okay, and then they already can start coming for the Saturday week, the whole day. And after they receive the first help, they can go for up to eight weeks. I think that's really sustainable and we can really do that. And for places that can do it, you know, they purchase a few things and make a few few things they can bring home for those eight weeks, right? Canned food, bags of orange, lemon, real food. I'm not talking about um, those very high processed food and cakes and gums and, you know, candies. No, real food, eight weeks of real food. How that eight weeks will be? They will send um, those food straight to the person's house. So this will be good. We really know where the people will be living, that family will be living. We will know how many family members is there. We will know how, how far, how much they owe. We're not helping to pay, but how much they own rent, electricity, cable, water, you know, so people will know that they have to answer true positive things according to what they really is, how much money they're making, if they really need help or not, if they have some savings or not, okay? Because we really have to work united and some people in some other countries don't even have water and food, so we have to move on and get to those steps. So you, the, the organization or the, the location, right? Maybe your business owner helping. It's okay, you can help. But send the food straight to that family. And real food, such as a large bag, 50 kilos of lentils, 50, 50 kilos of rice, brown rice, 50, not the white, 50 kilos of um, brown beans, black beans, things that have a proper nutritional value, those are the things you're going to send, okay? And basically it's that. And some can of food, that's okay, such as tomato sauce without sugar, that's good, has lycopene, um, also garlic, potato, sweet potato, things that will last for many days, you know, they can even, according to the delivery company you're going to get, that will be fine, beets, hard vegetables, celery, you know, um, carrots, all those, those, those things, a bag of orange, a bag of lemon, things like that, so for sure they're going to be fine, already sent to them. Instead of having them to come for those eight weeks, already sent to them, supply for what? For about six months, right? A big bag, and they have to cook. You know, those people don't have to be expecting to get sandwiches ready all the time, right? Already food they put in a microwave is ready. They put in a oven is ready. No, they have to cook. So that if you want to help, you already have food, that's how you're going to do it. If you have some extra cans of food you send, but please, no, no candies, no sugary items, okay? All right, very good. You can even send bread, that's fine. People get home, you know, if they get 10 loaves, 20 loaves, you know, they put some in the fridge, refrigerator, some in the freezer, and, you know, maybe they give one or another to a neighbor, done. Okay, what is sustainable according to the area, whichever is possible for you, but please send healthy food to them, okay? Peanut butter without sugar, you know, if it's a peanut butter only with a little salt, is okay, but without sugar, without hydrogenated fat in it, healthy things, even that will be less, but they are healthy and positive. And then the entire place will close down already give a notice, you know, already give a notice to all locations that offer food assistance or they assist with other things. In eight weeks, they close down. That will be enough time to tell everyone. And then they can come and steal for the garden work. 
you know, and harvesting because that will be the priority. They will, will plant and harvest. In four weeks, a lot is growing in real dirt, real soil, not aquaponics, because those aquaponics have a lot of chemicals, and then you see lettuce, but no nutrients in there. You see veggies of all types, but no nutrients, so people don't get satisfied with that because don't have much things in it. They have too many chemicals. Okay, so now let's say a few words about farmers, right, of different types. So, for grains and legumes and things like that, they harvest and they close down. They can only stay open if they are up to 200 kilometers from the beach line, that first street, that first line there, okay? All right. So they look online and then you already send information and you make sure they close down, already set up a day according to their harvest. You know the what it is, so we won't waste anything and done. After that they will have they have to send their tractors, their trucks, you know, everything to anyone at the beach line they can make agreements with other farms they can work with other farms they can be part of this new 10 department directors they can apply but only from the beach line up to 200 kilometers all right so those are for food for animals if it are chickens so that's okay, they can already sell their chickens, they can already sell their eggs, and they have to close down. You know, they have two days to process everything, two extra days for paperwork, as everyone else. You know, sell, organize, you know, sell their chickens, and done. They can sell their chickens alive, because every residential community will have chicken houses. So they can produce their own eggs. So where are they going to advertise? At their own county, whichever they are. The closest as possible. Because people will start, even that they're still there, at, in, a, in a center of continents. So that's okay. That's all right. No problem. Because they can sell them alive. Or, you know, if they're processing, you know, chickens for processing, it's all right. They can do their prayers, kill their animals, and use them for food. And sell, you know, the location they are used to sell. You know, the, the butcher um, houses or, you know, whichever they already do, they can already process that way as well. Their eggs, the same way they gather their eggs, they sell their chicks, so they have two days. It's to sell cheap. It's, this time is not for anyone to be millionaires. It's just to get things done so we can start our work, you know, planting food gardens and practice, you know, those new things, you know, this new lifestyle for all families of all countries, okay? So if it's for chickens, that's how it will be. Now, for all other types of animals, you know, the same exact way. They have two days to close down entirely unless they're huge farmers and then they have... Um, four or six days so they have two days up to what up to 200 animals right and they have four days until let's say 600 animals right four days up to 600 up to 600 and then they have six days for any other number you know for 601 and above you know so this way we will really organize they do their praise we already post videos about that you know they can have some family coming in they can hire a few people they will do exactly like that they do their prayers you know a group at the time so they're gonna get a hundred two hundred they they pray 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 and send them out to their butcher because we have to release those animals. We cannot have animal farming anymore. And in, inject them hormones, inject them, you know, uh, um, 
uh, antibiotics all the time and people are eating this bad food they don't even know about that's so unhealthy okay so let's close them all all right very good and with the items they cannot sell with the animals they cannot sell to butchers you know they can already process them right um, in butchers close by in another county so if the one that they are used to is too busy it's okay they can look around put the animals on a truck as soon as you do the prayer they're gonna be fine they're going to be part of nature again that's fine what we cannot have it's having them suffering those animals you know even cows milking cows you know they don't even see fresh air so all this is very unhealth unhealthy Let's get organized and be better. Pray and release them. So, if it's any other type of farming, such as fish farming and everything else, some crustaceous and things like that, the same exact way. They sell the best they can. They only have two days to clean up, two days for more documents to be completed and done. If they have anything left over, they can sell to... To, fam uh, to companies that make compost, mix them with dirt, right? And leave it right there, you know, because center of continents, we're going to need a lot of compost and mulch and things like that for trees to grow and recover areas, right? So that's what they're going to do. Even the bottom of those fish tanks, they're going to clean really well. They have to clean, right? Clean really well and use for something useful. And they have to undo everything, okay? All right, very good. All right, so now let's talk about construction for all places, constructions that are already built, such as those farmers I'm talking about, people that we will start leaving, the, the center of the continent, right? Okay, so the owner... The owner fill up all their paperwork, they clean up, two days clean up, two more days for paperwork, they video everything before, during, after, everything is clean and neat, you know. And then they are ready, hire a company to demolish their own place. So, demolition companies stay until the end because first they're going to start demolishing those locations, right, such as residential community with houses, and leave the apartments for later, right, in a few months or so. So they stay right there and they start. So the owners need to sign an agreement with those demolition construction so they can demolish their own, their own property right the buildings of their own property this is for everyone that have housing needs to do start right now as soon as possible have all those farmers i talk about you know even fish farming you know for any building that's what it is also for those negative locations just start right away bars Places that sell tobacco, nicotine, marijuana, pharmaceutical drugs. Those are the first. Please, for those negative places, please already give due time. End of July 2023 for them to empty out two days, clean up, right? First, they have two days to plan everything. Two days to plan, two days to clean up. Two extra days to do uh, some extra paperwork, such as taxes, you know, all their income that they pay their employees properly for the, the 20 years, last 20 years, right? And then they have two more days to hire a company, demolition company at their own county, you know, and, and sign the paperwork, you know, that is done, because that's the only way. So please already have to include the signature of that paper by July. You know, they have to sign that authorization for demolition, leave the location entirely with everything by the end of July. They only have to take out the doors 
you know, because the doors will be used for outside tables, for the plants, you know, um, maybe do some counter working counters for planting, for planting trays, for, for replanting, okay? So they take all their doors. And then the windows, the demolition company going to take out the, the windows properly, okay? All right. And if it's needed, if it's a semi-arid or desert land, then they need to hire someone from this labor company, right? They, they just hire people there to plant and water for six months. If it's another area, they don't need to do that. The own land going to catch up because it's already trees, already bushes, so they don't need to do that, okay? All right, very good. So now let's say a few words about money. Already establish at your country, please, you know, the end of money payment by end of July. So by the end of July is also for money, for everything, end of July. After, you know, so on August 1st and on will only be by points. You know, by points. So, one hour of regular labor going to be eight points per hour instead of eight dollars per hour. And the maximum that we are doing now, it's, it's 15 an hour. 15 points an hour. So, until we already have more details established. You know, because some people already got too much money, they don't need more. So, 15 an hour, it's a price here for Florida. Eight hours an hour is for labor, you know, regular labor person. And 15 an hour is a very good pay, you know, for a regular person. Even people with masters get 15 an hour for teaching here in Florida. So, that will be for directors, for any company, any type, okay? And of course, from August 1st and on, you know, you also have to um, uh, send information to everyone will be forbidden to sell or produce tobacco, nicotine, marijuana, pharmaceutical drugs of any type. So you read an alcoholic, alcoholic drinks and stores that sell or rent videos, video games, games of any type, lottery, you know, pool tables, you know, those that they have usually in bars, bars themselves of any type, you know, no bars, and bowling, and any other animal game. So you're going to write it down. No animals running, no animals fighting, no animal game, no bets on animal, no horse um, competition or dog competition or even show uh, them for beauty, you know, those that just walk around, nothing of that. No zoos, no theme parks with animals, all the animals should be gone. Do the prayers. Because people that really love animals, they don't trap them. So no birds, no, no stores like Pet Supermarket or Petco that sell food for dogs and food for cats, food for birds and um, things for rabbits. We need them free. We need them free. Release them from all this trapping. So everything... You know, you're going to send, and then you make into law, make into law that they have two days notice, not the whole May, June, July to get this done. No, they have two day notice to start this process. What's the process? Two days to plan, two days to clean up all the animals, all the materials, everything, or they give or they donate you know, give to people, you know, find a way, right? Uh, so, let me repeat, two days to plan, two days to clean up entirely, have every shelf, everything empty, 
two days to complete paperwork and have their reports on YouTube. You know, their account. We have other videos telling all business owners how to do that. And then they have two more days to hire a company to demolish their all the buildings of their property. Okay? All right? And then they have two more days if needed to hire people to cover their lands you know cover plant trees and things like that if they are located in a semi-arid or desert land otherwise they don't need these last two days that i just mentioned you all right all right so they have 10 days they're done they're done as soon as they sign that paper you know, so the business owners or um, um, landlords that have a place to be demolished, okay, they already signed the contract that they have those two days to, to find and sign. Okay, they send a copy to, of course, a copy of the contract to their demolition company they just hire, right, with a price they agree on that they can pay. If they have more money, they pay more. If they have less, they pay less. But everyone going to be working like that so we can get things done, all right? They keep also an original and they send one original to a school because our schools, our local schools, going to be our new um, government office, until we have this, the organization, the Peace and Love International Organization offices by the beach only. So people in the center of the continent are going to use the schools as the new government office. So they give an original set of all these things to the schools. And for money, you already tell the residents that they have to use. Don't keep a lot of money in savings account. They have to use, you know, or they give donation to people. They already use that money to move to the beach or they use that money to move to the desert village um, assisting city, you know, because the desert villages are not ready yet. We have to see, you know, details cities that are already located close to them if they if, if we are going to make an agreement with hotels that are already located those locations so they're not ready yet but people can move to cities that already exist close to this hotel they want to help okay so people to don't keep money by the end of june july they use everything they have they can even purchase, you know, food or things, but not in the center of the cons. They move to the beach and purchase those food items by the beach, 200 kilometers from the beach. So, you know, they don't have all this luggage to bring with them. They're ready sent to someone, a special friend or family member, or their own parents, where they're going to live by the beach. Or they move first and then they purchase these things online. And from that day on, you already tell, from August 1st, 2023 and on, you already say, you know, on that day on will be everyone, the whole country will be $8, eight points per hour. That's the equivalent of eight hours for a simple labor. And for the best ones, it will be 15 an hour. That's it. Okay. 15 an hour. That's really good, really reasonable. Many people are already getting that price. As I said, even people with good study, lots of, many years of experience. So that's how we can do it to be sustainable with countries. That their money, it's the equivalent of one, you know, 1% 1 of the value of a dollar, for example. Or some of them is a quarter, some of them it's much less, a fifth, a sixth, an eighth. You understand? All right. Okay, so you already tell the hotels to don't accept that you're forbidden to accept people as tourists. Now it's time to work and get organized, you know. So hotels... By this 200 kilometers from the beach line, we already remodeled if they need to receive families. Not a single man, a single woman with a child or with somebody else. No, 
Only families, hotels, you already established as a law. From August 1st, 2023 and on, you know, you, hotels, you know, because you're going to do the same as I'm doing here. You're going to type everything so people will read that, okay? What belongs to them, the information that belongs to them. All right. So, they remodel. I already posted a video, you know, yesterday, today. I posted a video today, May 8th, 2023. It's a video there how... Um, owners of hotels need to do to receive those families they do a simple remodeling for the children to be safe instead of the children being able to go straight to the corridor they block they completely block that um, door with a key and with furniture so they're safe okay all right and with an extra inner key you know the those um uh, hooks right that you slide so the parents are safe and with an extra key there for the parents Okay, done. And the parents also have the key. So they will have two keys for the children and their own room. An inner key that they are the only ones going to have a copy. So they're safe, but they're not receiving singles or families in, in vacation. Not anymore. This time is for work, for people that are really moving to the beach with the peace and love organization. They already did clean up their homes. They're already moving for real. Okay, all right. And the hotel owner is going to be exactly the same. They're going to receive more money from people that can pay and less money for those that cannot afford. They're going to adjust the best they can. And people that are moving or the hotel owner themselves they have money for food they're ready to go ahead and purchase those things you're talking about you know real you know bags 50 pounds of lentils beans those things even meat they can buy meat because they are ready at the beach they're gonna have freezers they're gonna have refrigerators okay and they check how they're gonna gonna have uh, kitchens every fifth floor gonna have kitchens for that group of the family so we don't have to to make food every day for 400 people for example so they they're just gonna make um, food for a few of them their own family is gonna cook to themselves right they're gonna take turns and cook to themselves themselves all right now let's talk about your own construction so you the government leaders are also owners somehow of what of offices right and houses for the government for mayor city mayors and the president right those four basic locations also for state parks, national parks, city parks, county parks, and many other locations. Even some have fun sites under their names and memorial parks. So all these things, you as the government leaders of your own country, so you have things that are under the name of the government, right? Okay, so you have to do the same exact thing. You can, you know, diminish the employers and keep maybe 20, 40, that's it. Even the president, because it's better to have 40 people that really going to work hard and focus and get it done instead of having a thousand people working. And they're on the phone, they're on the cell phone, they check their email, they talk to friends, they talk to fam, they check Facebook and they check Twitter and YouTube and you know, and Instagram, and they're not really there working. So get 40, no more, 40. Once we are working with couples, you know, you choose your 40 married couples. You know, so you choose 40 people you trust, and they have to bring their spouse with them, you know. And they cannot be obese, they cannot smoke, no drink alcohol, they don't use marijuana, they, they are healthy, they don't use pharmaceutical medication. You know, they are healthy people, they have flat bellies, they are healthy, ready to work. They are not exhausted or drowsy because they took pharmaceutical medication. Okay, that's a good start. And then you're going to ask them to do their house cleanup 
and you set up, you know, so they can start coming to help you for four days or so, because in two days they clean up their homes, and then you start on that Monday or so, because then you make your own plans as a government, as a president, you make, you know, spend two days organizing the basics according to your reality. Some counties are overpopulated and some they have mostly farms, you know, but yes, you can get 40 married couples that do have children living with them and do have one cup of elders, you know, their parents, one of them, of course, parents living with them, because that's the only way we're going to close down assisting living and, you know, all these elder places, right? Okay, so they have that ready, you know, okay, so they can um, come and attend. And of course, you're already going to call, invite the ones that you believe, you know, from just for looking, you're already going to invite those that you believe they're very good or positive, they move fast, they, are, they can focus, you know, and they don't have a baby at home, so... Try to have, you will have actually, right, uh, people with five years old and older. Couples with five years old and older. Okay? All right? And you, you can get new people. If you know family, friends, that's okay, no problem. You're going to pay them for those two weeks, basically two weeks of work. You know, and then you're done as well. You're going to do exactly the same way. You have two days for planning. After you send, because your main work first is to let, you know, your whole state know if you're going or let your own country to know about. Okay. And then as soon as you finish that, you maybe one or two days to type, organize everything done. And then you're going to start cleaning your own location. Right? Okay, so what do you have? You have two days for planning, two days to clean up everything, all the documents, everything. You're going to make your own reports. Remember, every place closing down, make your own basic reports. How long that city has been there, you know, when was... Um, um, when they started their work, you know, or was farms until this time and for the last uh, 400, 500 years, whichever is your reality, you're going to say each building needs to do their own report, okay? So, you do your two days clean up and two more days for accounting, okay? So, after that, and then you jump for these 40 couples, you understand? So you're going to do a little different. Then you jump for those 40 couples. These 40 couples are going to help to call people. Say, are you closing? You got. You send the emails, you know, because email is a document that they really saw. Some couples are going to take care of farms. According to reality, some others are going to take care of pharmaceutical uh, pharmacies to close down. Some of them are going to close down labs that produce pharmaceutical medication. Some of them are going to focus on schools, you know. So, all, all these 40 couples, you know, they're going to elaborate those special emails, you know, with 10 sentences, 10 links. And this is the basic one. This email, this uh, uh, video here, you know, for them to understand why we're doing this. You know, it's not for them to get upset. Our objective, as I said many times, is for us to focus, get things done, and start a new humanity. We're going to start this new humanity now, August 1st. And our organization launching day will be on August 24th. On the 24th, it's for people to already be living at their own homes, unless are those people that want this extra money, extra points, that will help the demolition of cities, or they have to go to desert village. That's the only two ways anyways, right? And for families that have children up to seven years old, they have to move to the beach before August 24th. Because 24th is already a big party. You know, it's for us to celebrate, for us to go to the, the, this 200 kilometers from the beach line with 
with peace and love flags and sing songs and swim at the beach. That's what we have to do. So we have to hurry up, right? Only stay in a center of continent. Workers that they are able to work, they, are, they have children only eight years old and above for them to apply to be part of this demolishing company or desert village. They cannot have babies or toddlers or very young children. Needs the youngest need to be eight years old and old. All right, you got it? Okay, so I repeat. For you to start your work, you have two days for basic planning, two days to clean up every single building with the person in charge doing a report of their area. So don't lay them out right away. Every person, secretary, the directors, the, the, everyone gonna help to empty out the building, including tables, chairs, everything. Figure out what, they're very good. You know, okay, send them to school something, such as a printer, you know, uh, laptops, but no computers. Do not send computers to school because they're not going to use them at all. Computers are already cut or very old things, you know, that nobody can use or very old laptops or those that, you know, if, if they have a tiny problem, send to school, people will be fixing them, resetting them up. But for everything that's very old, throw on the trash because that's not needed, okay? All right. What else good you can send? Blenders, uh, simple coffee makers, not those that make coffee in tiny cups. Not those. They're very, they're not sustainable. But blenders, regular coffee, coffee machines, it's okay, all right? So what else you can send to schools? picnic tables, wooden tables and chairs, uh, folding tables, and doors, old flat doors, you know, wooden doors can be sent to uh, schools, because afterwards that will be a reference, you know, for other people that would have, you know, such as uh, people that will be living at the, these apartments, you know, people will be working, still living there for maybe one, two years, right, to demolish everything. They go to the school, they know where the new government office is going to be. Everything, even for things they can get for free, as those tables, you know, um, doors to, to use as a, a stand for planting food, right, the food trays. Okay, so, and also to teach, because they're going to teach the whole day, right? They, uh, some kids are outside learning, others are inside, and then they can change, right? To be really sustainable along the day, okay? All right. And everyone up that has kids up to seven years old need to move to the beach. They cannot apply for any new job. You know, and those at the beach will make an effort to receive those families according to the money they have. All right? Okay. All right. So, after you have this extra two days to do all your accounting, you know, everybody. Remember I said the directors, the secretaries, all right. They did their very short reports. And then they're going to send that report to the person in charge, the main person of the whole building. Okay? All right. And after that day, then you're going to choose those four demerit couples. Should be plenty. Should be plenty. They go in person. They keep checking emails, they keep uh, making phone calls. Are you close already? Are you close already? Because if they don't close on time, they're going to start losing points, right, for the future. The people that are in charge, the business owners that are in charge, they don't close down on time, okay? All right. And preschools, they can still open for what? Up to the end of July and no more. Licensed preschool, you know, but they can already do their contract for demolition, everything. Or if that preschool will be used for an elementary school, for example, then it's okay. All right? Okay, so those 40 couples, they need to have their children at school the whole day. You know, the whole day, okay? All right. 
And if they are ready in vacations, mandatory to have summer camp. I already said that. All schools of all countries, mandatory June and July. For the South Hemisphere, June is still regular classes until the last Friday of the month because they have to finish the proper semester. July is summer camp for everyone, both hemispheres, okay? And June, um, for the North Hemisphere, do summer camp as well. So they will have the, the North Hemisphere, only schools from the North Hemisphere will have summer camp for two months. The entire June, the entire July, okay? So this way people will can work or parents can think and know where they're going to move to, all right? And people, workers that want to apply to demolish those cities, those places, those buildings, everything, right? Parks, they're going to apply the same way. They're married, that is okay. So they also need to be married with two children and parents living with them. One cup of parents, not both, you know, one. One cup of parents and at least two children need to be eight years old or older because they can handle the dust. And they will stay at that location, we hope, in two years, every, the whole entire city is clean up. So they will, you know, and those demolishing companies have to make an estimate, right? how many workers they need to demolish the entire county. Everything is by county. Because some counties have a few cities or a huge neighborhoods. Some have only farms. So we're going to do by county. It's easy to see. You know, in other countries, they, they use the word district. Done. Count your district. This way you know what I'm talking about and very easy to get it done. The, person, the, the government leader in charge, get it done. They hire those companies. Do not hire only one. You need two or four companies. Demolishing companies are going to stay there until the end. And they have to do the reports. And you're going to be checking. And actually, when you move out, then you don't check anything else. The school will be in charge of checking. With their own teachers, their own high school kids going to be helping. Oh, this building done. Okay, they're going to be checking the demolition uh, company. They will be the new owners of the entire county, the schools, all right? So you already choose. So it will be four companies. So you get your county dividing four. What's the most reasonable? Okay, and then you get the most, the, the four major schools of that county. They are the one that they are in charge. They're going to have that document in front of them, right? And when you make those originals of the contract with the demolition, those two or four demolition companies, what you're going to do? You're going to make four originals, one for yourself, one for the demolition company, and two for two different schools that do have high school because they will stay there until the end, okay? Two years, no more. So they will do the estimate how many workers they need, how many couples, and not just men alone. The wife going to work with them at all times. Everyone needs proper masks, you know, because some places, some countries... Most buildings are more sustainable. They have a lot of uh, uh, construction made in, in, in bricks, clay bricks. And some other ones, they have uh, drywall. So it's very healthy. It's mandatory for them to have that special mask for breathing. So we don't have people with problems on their lungs. Okay? And all the other details, that's a video for them. They have to water some specific area. They have to water soon after. They have to water those buildings for the entire afternoon until all the dust come down. So there's some they have to demolish all is in the morning. And in the afternoon, they're going to be doing these extra things. They also need to take everything with glasses and mirrors ahead of time because people are going to be planting trees. We don't want a bunch of things with glass in the middle, you know, so they will take out the most as possible. They will recycle, for example, 
you know those um, closets with metal bars so they will recycle everything that's possible but the owners need to take out the doors and they will be doing everything else as I just said okay all right so then you have two schools to be checking them up with those high school students gonna be there so they also gonna say teacher you know we got this this and that you know no not this but yes we got that so they're gonna be helping you know and of course they have uh, uh, they they can make phone calls and help the teachers or the parents you know the, some some parents gonna be working there some grandparents sorry grandparents gonna be working at those schools actually they are the one that making the phone call sorry but the the teenagers right um, 18 19 20 21 uh, those older ones they can help with emails they can help um, yes they can help to make phone calls as well you know very quick phone calls with supervision so they can also start being leaders and really help not just you know they're not babies anymore they can really do a lot okay very good and the grandparents can also be walking around town to see oh yeah it's true that building is demolished oh yes this building is demolished and then they leave the area you know so um because in the um, they the the workers will be the parents and the grandparents are gonna be helpers for the demolition construction they check 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 and leave you know, or working at the schools themselves, okay? All right, very good. All right, so when you finish, you government leader got these companies hired. You already uh, shared this, this um, your account in four or two different areas, for two or four comps. As I said, some are overpopulated and some is almost nobody, okay? You know, they're going to... Figure out, you know, if they can do it, a fourth of that county, you know, they're going to do an estimate. So you have two days to do that and negotiate with them and for them to also be prepared how many workers, that's their job. What you're going to do, you're just going to set up for them to do it, pay how much you can afford and done. Pay, you know, by this price, $8 for workers and fifteen dollars for the directors of each year because we need people inspecting over and over those workers, right? And the demolition company. And one by one they done it properly, okay? All right. So fifteen is the maximum pay. So you're gonna ask them for each building, you're gonna make a contract, how many workers they need, you know, it's a couple. So eight dollars for each. That will be on a future eight points for each. And how many directors, inspectors you need to be traveling around, you know, these four different areas, they're going to be in charge. So, directors, you also divide in four parts. But they don't only come, look, check, and go sleep or be on their phone the rest of the day. They work as well. They do something, right? They bring, bring things, they bring things out, or they bring already trees, or they they already call the, the water truck to come. You know, they're going to be working, they're going to be doing something, even they are directors overseeing others. All right? Okay, very good. We're getting there. Okay, so we already talked about the end of money, right, for the end of July 2023. We already talked that you need to finish all this paperwork and everything by, by the end of July as well, okay? Because everyone going to have basically 10 days. All right, now let's say a few words about how you are going to tell every resident of your county about those things, okay? So, you're going to make a letter. With all these topics, the topics will be in alphabetical order. So you have two different main parts of this letter. The first part that, yes, we agree with the Peace and Love International Organization, and we are starting our work today, and you're going to write it down the day that needs to be an even day, right, of the month, May, now, okay, because we have to keep going. 
when you receive this email, May or beginning of June, you get going. You have 10 days to finish everything. All right, so this first big paragraph will be about like that. Everything will be placed in objective points. You know the, the way we used to say uh, bullet points, but they're objective points to be really easy for people to um, read. And they have numbers. So these first paragraphs have numbers. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So number one, we agree with the Peace and Love International Organization. We're starting our work here in our state, or you're going to say here in our country, on this day. Okay, please, I ask attention from all of you to also start the same because it's a new law being implemented at our state, or it's a new law implemented at our country today. Okay, done. And then number two of that same paragraph, I'm gonna say, this letter, it's the new law of our state. Or you're gonna say, this letter is the new law of our country. It does not need to be approved by anybody else. Because we know some countries approve the letter by the Senate and the Congress and then they do this and then they do that and some of them not. Some of them the present decide. Every country have their own reality. But instead of being approved by anyone, you, the go state governors and presidents, are already going to decide and done. Okay? Or city mayors, county mayors talk to each other and do it for the whole county. You know? So you're going to say... I, you know, the um, state governor, or I, the president of this country, you know, with the vice president of this, signing this document. Done. So you have two people signing. And this and that person that has been working with us for that amount of time, you know, such as both secretaries, of course, are here signing this document as a testimony. Done. And then you're going to say, from today on, this is a law, and please pay attention to all details as they come up now. Dot. Period. Done. So that's your first paragraph. is done. Now you go to a second paragraph. This second paragraph starts like that. Here is the basic rules and guidelines that start today in our state or in our country as a new law for all of us. And in alphabetical order are basic steps that each business needs to do. Okay, and then you're gonna put the, the titles, right? All those, those basic places I said, right? Um, um, not only the places, but also for your own practice. For money, you're going to do this. Schools, that. Demolition uh, uh, places, that. Construction, um, business, close down. Demolition, business, can stay on for two or four years. Two years, two years. Everything is two years. Farms, you know. So you're going to list all these topics I said in the whole video. You have two hours, right? Uh, two hours and ten minutes, right? Okay, so you're going to combine all these things, elaborate the letter the best as possible, and get it done. Okay, so you have two days to organize this letter and publish in an even day. Okay, all right, publish it in an even day. And then you're going to contact. Uh, basic is just radios, um, radio stations, and uh, TV channels, right? And of course, inform, send a copy of it to all the teachers, right? To all your employees, of course, right? And to all the state governors, and done. Basically, it's that. So you have the letter in front of you, gonna have these two major paragraphs, right? Okay. And then you have two endings. So for the two endings, you have another two very small paragraphs, all right? The first one is say, it's forbidden to be upset. This work, it's for a better humanity, okay? So let's work united. Let's hold hands united. Let's say yes to the peace and love organization. Let's say yes 
for a new humanity and a new planet. Okay, the very last paragraph, and then you're going to put your names, right? You, the governor, or you, the president, right? The vice president or the vice governor. And the two testimonies, sign, put the date, time, done. And then always with the time, you're going to put on a side. Miami time is this. For people to start to get used to every letter they sign, they put the time, you know, because most of them are going to be sending emails. And they put Miami time now is, okay, for us to have a reference, you know, okay? And always put the complete or your complete name, your vice complete name, the two testimony complete name, right? Address for four of you and um, um, residential address, right? Residential address and then the main address of the building, right? And basically it's that, okay? So this is not a report. This is a letter for your entire, um, your citizens, right? All the citizens of your country or your state, okay? All right, so here it is. Those, the four paragraphs, you're going to get this letter and you send this email, you know, to everyone you can. You know, the TV channels and radio channels the same exact way they have only to to read that letter for two days the tv gonna show is nobody talking nobody showing looking beef or no they are going to show the letter they're gonna film and show the letter over and over every 10 minutes they're gonna show the same exact letter passing really slowly for people to see. And then they have a little break, you know, then they start again. And maybe two minutes break and they start. It's going to be over and over. Nobody talking about, you know, it's for people to read. You know, people need to read. So that's how it is. Okay, so this letter is going to be in your own language. Own language and then everything in English. The same exact letter needs to be translated on Google Docs. Okay, so you explain at the end, you know, at the end of this third paragraph that you're talking about the organization, you can say um, this letter, the following is an English translation of the entire of the entire letter of the entire letter done at Google Docs. Why Google Docs? Because anyone checking to see if you if you were honest with your translation, they can go there and on Google Docs they will see if you're honest with your letter. Okay? All right. So put those topics in, you know, and everything there ready said in this video, right? And you're ready to go. Ah, and you're also going to write at this um, third paragraph here, you know, the same place that you talk about the English, you're also going to write a few words about the organization. And you're going to say, for any question, for any question, please go to Peace and Love Organization at the YouTube account, you know, for any question, and check for videos related to your own reality. And we have 500 videos there. And you can even say, period. They have more than 500 videos with explanations to families, business owners, government leaders, even to teachers and schools, principals, period. Done, okay? All right. And then you finish that paragraph. Let's work united, let's hold hands united, you know? Okay? All right. So here we are. I'm going to show you very quick now how you're going to do it. And you already know the basics. The radio stations and TV, the radio can have someone reading that is not the famous person, you know, it's the janitor, done. Radios are going to be the janitor saying, two days, and then they're also going to close down. After two days, 
you know, they have to close and tie. It's forbidden for them to to say anything or repeat the letter or say they like or say they don't like or comment about. No, they have two days. They get the janitor they have or the last janitor they have. That's the person they're going to hire to read because we don't need anyone with spectacular voice to give information of things we need or, you know, so for radio, that's the janitor. And for the TV as well as the janitor. No, no. The TV is just reading. Nobody saying anything. Reading. It's not to show anybody the hair like this with a new clothes every day. This is so unsustainable, you know? And so superficial. We need people that really care. There are people dying. They don't have food. They have nothing. And people still find time to change clothes every day and change their hairstyle every day and do makeup every day and paint their nails. You know, please, we don't need that for a better planet. So on the TV, it's in silence. The TV channels is in silence. So they will put that on for two entire days and turn off completely because they have to focus on the paperwork, you know, and they have to focus on these two. Two days they're showing this is already their two clean up days with everything they also have. Tables, chairs, desks, computers, laptops, you know, what is good, they send to schools. What's not good, they send to trash. If they have any food, they send to people. Done. Both these places also have two days to close down. Okay? They don't receive anybody else, you know, doing any show, anything. And from today on, uh, they, what they're going to add is one sentence. From today on, our channel, you know, it's closed down. The other thing you're going to do exactly the same is for magazine newspapers, but they do not send anything. They just cancel because they're so bad, so bad. They put what they want. They change words. They, they create things out of little things. They make them huge. So for people to read and they make people addictive to read bad news instead of good news is crazy. So newspaper magazines of all types, even good magazines, science magazine, or magazines that's about gossiping, or those magazines that hire those paparazzis to take pictures of people in vacation. Goodness, we need to be better, right? So they close down in five minutes of every other business. <laughs> They do not send their last edition of anything. They don't send a last paper or big or small or regular newspaper or online paper. No, they cancel everything. They already delete everything they already have online. And for all business owners of all types, including magazine, newspaper, radios, they close down their website, they delete their website entirely, because even restaurants that's allowed to stay open afterwards, right, at those hotels, for example, they will apply, you know, separately after to the organization website, okay, all right. Also for closed stores, restaurants, individual rest, commercial plazas, you know, everyone in center of continents need to close down entirely. The restaurant will be only the rest of the hotels, you know, and the schools, done, cafeterias, nothing extra. They don't need extra clothes. They don't need nothing of that. They're already going to have their clothes and done. Those workers, they're going to stay there, okay? And you also need to uh, send emails to a few different companies. So, cell phone providers free, internet is free, water is free, electricity is free, and done. Everyone with, with uh, channels, you know, those uh, TV channels, 
uh, that have so many, you know, no, they have to close down entirely. Internet is for the cell phones only done. Okay. All right. Very good. So free and then people need to prove, you know, to really save. So they deserve. All right. Okay. So your 40 couples going to be working with those things with the help of the schools, right? The students, they, they go to school, they look a little bit around, they, they have an idea what's going on. They're also going to call, as I said, 18 years old and above. Yes, they're going to make phone calls. Yes, they're going to send that same template over and over, you know, and until they get those buildings done, they're going to have print maps in simple paper, right? Those regions, and they're going to have teams of the students that are going to cross out every building that was completely demolished. And as I said, if they have, they are located in semi-arid or desert land, and then they need the six months, they're going to help to plant. These schools, they're going to be planting trees all day long, playing groups, right? Groups of these groups. So they're going to learn outside, they're going to plant trees, for the reforestation of that county, that's mandatory to do the basics. Six months watering after that, the last residents going to be doing those things, right? And they're also going to be planting food all day. Everything with teams, right? They do a little bit this, 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 and that. They also need to go online to type all these 500 videos because it's important for people to see the process so they don't go back, you know, six months a year. But why did they do like that or like this, you know? So they already know why because it's all explained on these 500 videos, all right? Okay, very good. This is Guiana Ferreira from Florida. And here it is our video with some updates, right, for government leaders. Thank you so much for your participation. So please check the basic. I'm going to show you right now. And you're ready to go in 10 days. You're also getting ready to, to get your 100 points so you can move with your family to another city. Thank you so much. It's a gift to have your participation. So here, in a very quick words for you to uh, write on your letter for business owners. Two days for planning, for you as well, government leader. Two days for cleaning up the entire building, including blinds, curtains, doors, refrigerators, freezer, objects, food, microwave, everything. Okay, printers, laptops, computers. Okay, two days to sign the demolition documentation ah sorry uh two extra days for documentation with people in charge you know so such as um for taxes for payroll that's the only people you need there for these extra days people really have paperwork you know to help not regular uh reports anymore this is more Things related how much taxes you got, you the government lead, how much taxes you got, how much you paid your employees, how many employees you had, details that you you have to prove that you didn't do, you're not corrupt, you didn't have corruption in your government, basically is that. And for business owners also, their taxes, they pay the government, right, they pay the employee properly, all right, okay. And then you have here. Two days to sign, two more days to sign the demolition contract with the demolition company, right? That you're going to have one original for you, one original, uh, two, two originals for two different high schools, one original for the demolition company, all right? Okay, so the only exception for this is for government leaders that are going to hire for married couples, people that they already know, right? You, the governor or the president, already know, okay? All right, or prime minister, whichever is your reality, okay? Some countries, even king or queen, if they are in charge, because some countries like England, you know, they're not in charge anymore. You know, they're just there, but they're not in charge, okay? So that's the only difference. So this page like this, it's for all business owners of all types. And this page like that, it's for all government leaders of all types to get done. And for everyone, it comes here. 
So as soon as you finish all the above, you know you have to move by the end of July. So you have to check 100 points for moving. Then you're already done with work. All your work, what you in charge as a government leader, as a business owner, you're done. Now you're going to focus on your own family, where you're moving. You know these details we already talked in other videos, okay? Great. All right, so basic is like that. Here's the letter. You know that first paragraph with the introduction? And I told you, number one, number two. That's the first paragraph, okay? And then comes the, the second paragraph with everything I post here on this video. If you can add something there or something here, you know, you related uh, subject, it's okay. So the other thing I didn't say is government also need to delete their website. You know, in five minutes they go there and delete entirely. All right, because people we already know, and you're gonna schools need to talk to their students every day and ask if they talk to their parents. After these two days of the radio and the TV, done will be the school only because the school is gonna be the new government leaders, right? The ones are going to be responsible, actually, all right? So, and then here is the third paragraph with that addition I wrote for English, right? And here it is, you know, let's work united, let's hold hands united, let's say yes to the Peace and Love International Organization, and let's say yes for a new humanity. So those are, this is your third paragraph, right? And that fourth paragraph is the conclusion with the address, you know. You don't um, um, write your personal address here because everybody's going to be reading. Just put the building, the main building of your work office, right? The state uh, office or the president office, right? The governor of the president office, right? And the time at your own city, you're signing that, and the time in Miami, related time in Miami. Done. Everything I said on this video of the previous, those two hours, 20, 30 minutes, you know, gonna be here, you know, or here, these two. So you have four paragraphs, your letter is done. Just remember the other thing I didn't say here, if all these places gonna close down, and clothes and rest and car dealers and everything, you know, and also producers of everything, they have to close down. They're gonna give or sell their items, they have two days to close down because it's no time for anybody to get rich anymore. So, producers of clothes, producers of soap or cars or airplanes, whichever it is, close down. Shows, any show of any time, close down. They have five minutes. Have five minutes and don't go anymore. If they already started, they finish and they don't do anymore. To avoid problems, because we don't want to, 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 to hurt anybody. If they already start the show, then it's okay. If they didn't they start the show, they cancel. They give the money, the people pay the head, and then they cancel the following days of that show. Performance of any type, outside, inside, in parks, at beaches, or huge or small, doesn't matter. Performances, shows, movie theaters, everything, they have the same schedule to close down, okay? Because this is very important for everyone. The only exception is this that's only for government. I already put there, government. Everything else or business of all types, and then families need to focus and know where they're going. Can all the government leaders need to move to another location for safety reasons? For safety reasons, need to move out to another state, not to another county. Okay, family, regular families, move to counties far away, east, west, northwest, okay? Now, here's something I didn't say. You are going to divide your company in four like this way. Why? Because every student, even elementary school, they see where's the end of your county, they see where's the beginning of your county, north is there, south is here, so they know where that cross is. So you need four demolition companies, 
you know, and people, you know, the schools gonna hire people to also have people checking, inspecting those four separate areas. Why is that? Because a person come here, they easily can check somebody here, here, here. If they get a bus, you know, they also are checking. They have their clipboard on their lap. They're just on a bus. The bus goes, come back. The last, the very last will be the avenues and highways. And the very last of last is the avenues. Because we need the avenues, you know, to bring those water trucks we need. And, you know, while they need roads, they're going to keep roads, right? Okay? And the demolition uh, um, uh, companies, those four companies are going to be in charge of their own roads, their own, you know, they're going to be in charge of their own. Why four? Because this way we're going to see, oh, this is working slow, this is working fast. Oh, they're kind of okay, you know, that's how it's going to be. So if your state is, uh, your county, it's long like that, doesn't matter. You're going to get the tip point, and this tip point, right in the middle, make a cross, okay? So here one company, another company, another company, another company, okay? Basically is that. I exaggerate a little bit, but basically is that. So you know exactly the road of the center and any student of any age can figure this out. And any inspector can figure this out, okay? Even that is much less, of course, they're going to finish their work quicker, right? It's okay. And then where they're going to move? They also, the owners, the, the workers of that company, they don't mix things around. They work for that company. So in six months, for example, they're done. They go to the beach areas or they go to a desert village because that's only the two things they can do, all right? So, you know, if they have, for example, if it's very small, you know, they can go to the beach area if they have children up to seven years old. They can stay six months, no more, actually. No, sorry. Everyone with children up to seven years old, they have to move by the end of July. So people working here that are going to get this done in six months, they have to go to a beach line, 200 kilometers from the beach, or they have to move to a desert village, all right? And of course, those other people here are going to take longer because it's much bigger. I'm just giving, you know, exaggerating for you to see, of course. But still, you have other companies to compare to each other because we're going to stop this. People work. They work. They study. They study. They rest. They rest. Instead of getting up, staying up a whole night, and then during work hours, they check their phone. They're tired. They're sleepy. They're drowsy. They don't want to work. They can't even move. They're so bees. They can't even move. We're going to stop that. Only very healthy people with all these details can work. And if the construction owners do not have those qualities, they're going to figure out what? They are four couples to start, and they have ten department directors going to be in charge of this company. Another ten for this, another ten for this, another ten for this. Everything is based on ten department directors. They're going to be sending the reports to the school and also having the report at their own channel on YouTube that these new owners are going to create. One thing is the old owner making their own reports at their YouTube account. Everyone with a business needs to do a YouTube report of their business. But as soon as they pass the responsibility to four couples that they trust, you know, such as somebody that already worked with them, even the janitor, you know, they don't need uh, even master's, doctorate, 10-year experience or look good. No, even the janitor can be here because this is just helping couples to get this tan and then they need everything. But of course, those four that are going to stay there a few weeks, they also need to be kind of okay, right? They have eight weeks to approve these people, these 10 married couples, all right? So it will be 10 married couples for each of this area of your county. So if your county is cut here, for example, 
or if it's longer here. It doesn't matter. You know a cross and anybody in all countries is going to know that county. Okay? All right? Okay, very good. So here it is. Very organized. So let's do it, my friends. Every translating, translation will be done on Google Docs. Okay, I mean, Google Translator and all the reports you have to keep, open a new account on Gmail, have your records book, notebook, right? For you government leaders and for any company, if you're four, if you're 10 already, okay, records book and everything already said. Your YouTube account, right? And also the documents itself bring it home in a lock, in a lock file, cabinet file. Bring it home and you lock it because you need those documents to prove that you close this property, you close that property, you were very good here, you assume this position, you have your documents in a file cabinet, very small, attached to the wall, not a wallet, not a... A folder, not a binder anywhere. No, you have a binder at a wall uh, um, file cabinet attached to the wall. When you move to the beach, you have it at the hotel attached to the wall. Everybody's going to be mandatory to have that, okay? All right, my friends, here it is. I really appreciate your cooperation. Let's get things done. Make your letter. Explain everything and... Let's get going, all right? And people that do actually, you know, because we have to do all this in those 10 days, gonna get their positive points because it's the same for all countries. People responsible for things, owners that have too many companies, that's okay. They can uh, uh, see which manager of each location they're going to uh, ask to be in charge of closing and have those two days for everything. So can you please close this? Yes. Can you please close that? Yes. You're going to, uh, you know, uh, choose the best you trust. Okay, so you don't trust a manager. Fine. Choose someone that just got there. Choose the janitor that worked there for many years. You know, choose the cafeteria lady. You know, we don't need, you know, good-looking people to do these simple things. You, know, you just need people that move, work, they're not sick, they're not obese, they're enthusiastic, they have commitment with a bad humanity. That it is. It's all explained. You know, if they're married, if they're married, they need to be married with two children. You know, two teens, oh, so of course, not sick. Not drowsy, no medication, no tobacco, no nicotine, and parents living with them. Done. Can you close? Yes, close. Just these very basic five things, okay? All right. Because we don't want lesbians and gays closing down those things. We need actual married couples, all right? Okay. They have children. Yeah, done. Okay? So... I say again, they are healthy, no tobacco, no nicotine, they are married, no alcoholic drinks, no pharmaceutical drugs, and that basically is that. Very good. So, let's get ready. So, six items then, and we see you soon. Let's get ready. You make your phone calls, they uh, send your emails, they send the emails back with all this paperwork, right? The basic information, right? Yes, I don't smoke for two years, I don't drink for three, I don't uh, take alcohol, you know, whichever the years. Yes, I'm married, here's my marriage certificate. Yes, I have two kids, here is the birth certificate. You prove what you're saying. You just don't say and never bring a documentation. And then the owner going to say, okay, you, the janitor, chosen to do this. Done. You know, you can even call the whole... Um, uh, the whole, the whole, all the employees, you know, whichever send me the documentation first, that will be the person in charge. Done. Or you already choose a janitor because a janitor, I'm sure a janitor can do this. They know the business, they walk around, done. 
you know they're just gonna see of course you know the people in charge of taxes all right they have to do the paper of taxes but the janitor can look is that ready is that ready anybody even for fourth grader eighth grader can do that is that ready show me and they're gonna look they're gonna read Right? Okay, let's do at least high school, okay? Anybody here? So let's do eight items. Anybody with uh, at least high school completed? Okay, where did you finish? Because some of them are going to be hard for you to ask for paperwork. They're going to write the name. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, write the name of your school. Done. So they go to the tax person, you know, the director, this director that asks, is that ready? Show me. You know, and they go to the payroll. All the payroll is ready. Everything for 20 years, 20 years. Let me see. Okay, and then they have two more days. With these people, paperwork, they have two more days. They, they don't owe anybody. And everybody made a good agreement of conclusion of the work. They, they write the letter, sign a letter, done. You know? Every company should have someone that finished high school that can do this. All right? Very good. Thank you so much. And let's get going. And I also say it's forbidden. Here at the end, you're going to write. It's forbidden to be upset. You know, you write this or grumpy. We have to be enthusiastic. I didn't put this. We have or better. It's a gift to be enthusiastic for a better humanity and a better planet okay so please complete that sentence it's a gift to be um, to be enthusiastic for a better humanity and better planet and you also have to close down you know the the the, the trash um, trucks can work for a few more weeks but you need a knee incinerator so if here's your county right and here's a neighbor county you need an incinerator if you're a huge count overpopulate you need your own trash incinerator we're not leaving trash in land fields or a bunch of cars nowhere right okay and you also have to you give what you give four days no family cars anymore right and you'd give eight days no business cars anymore. What you're gonna have? Only working truck trucks, working tractors, the water truck to put the, the smoke down after demolition. What else you have? The urban bus for these inspectors to keep passing and passing. They're gonna be driving slowly in major avenues that is still, you know, so you have some buses going like this, always from here to that. So start here, uh, start here, they go this way, always, here's north, here's south. So you have some buses always going that way, and then they come back, the same road or a different road, or they make a flip all around your county, okay? And then, of course, you need another bus going like that, and then they come back the same exact way, or I think the best, they go this direction. All right, not come back the same way, because then it, it will be better for the inspectors, okay? So this blue line go like this, and then they come all around the county, the last avenues, this way. And this in pink go this way, and after the end, they go back and make the circle this way. So you have buses every 30 minutes, going you know slowly or every hour as soon as people start to leave every hour you already say they will leave their starting point done okay starting point for blue and starting point for red buses done okay all right this way is very good and who gonna get these people the school the schools are the new uh, government that will be organized to check, see which grandparents going to go, come back, check again. They're going to be going on these buses, come back. Sometimes they drop off, sometimes they pick up, and it's forbidden to charge them anything. They come for free, they leave for free. Workers also can get these buses and be home. 
Okay, every company needs to close by 6 p.m. sharp. You know, they put the alarm on and they leave, such as the schools, you know, that's still open. And um, uh, those people, you know, bus drivers, a fair few things. Who are they going to work for? The schools. They're in charge of the schools. Who going to hire them? The schools, not you. You're not doing anything anymore. You're just going to leave the bus, the proper location, with their proper keys, and give to the school as everyone else. They turn in their last keys, you know, to the school, not to the demolition company the demolition company when they are ready for each building they go to the school pick up that key and they sign the day you know pick up drop off you know this is a completely demolished they give the last key if and sign the paper it is completely demolished okay all right that is very good very easy for sure we can do it okay my friends i really appreciate your cooperation we see you soon